today I'm going to be showing you guys the best builds of Season 4 in NBA 2K24, and these builds are best for all modes. Now with these builds, you're going to be able to dominate your opponents and most importantly have some fun. So make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more build videos. Now I'm going to be starting off showing you guys a short point guard build that is very good for Pro-Am, Rec, and also 3v3. Now I would not recommend taking this to the 1v1 court or the 2v2. Like I said, 3v3, Pro-Am, and Rec. Let's get into it. So go point guard, go six foot four make sure the weight is 184 pounds and the wingspan needs to be six foot nine now the reason we're going with a six foot nine wingspan is so we can get that silver limitless range that is very important so go six foot nine wingspan and continue now we're going to be starting off with the physicals go ahead and put your speed all the way up to an 86 now the reason we're going with an 86 is so we can get that gold speed booster it's not popping up yet because we got to upgrade a uh, ball handle speed with ball and all that good stuff but make sure you guys go with an 86 speed now for the acceleration i highly recommend leaving this at a 71 we figured out at the beginning of the year acceleration does not matter okay so you're still going to be quick with a six foot four guard and going with a 71 acceleration is going to open up more attributes that you can use in other areas so make sure you guys leave that at a 71 now for the vertical go with an 85 i know it seems a little high but with this build we are going to be able to get crazy contact dunks shoot the ball dribble and play a little bit of defense Okay, so this build is going to be able to do it all. And like I said, man, the most important thing... Of and like I said, the most important aspect about this build is to have fun and win. So go with an 85 vertical. You're going to get a lot of contact dunks. You guys are going to see with the driving dunk rating. Now for the stamina, go ahead and put that all the way up to a 99. I highly recommend that. You can go with a 96 if you want to, um, but I highly recommend sticking with a 99 because you want all the stamina that you can get. And before we continue, let me tell you guys about the sponsor in today's video, Underdog Fantasy, the best way to play fantasy sports. And Underdog has a brand new customer special. Patrick Mahomes only has to get higher than half a total yard, and you can win some serious money, so do not miss out. Sign up on Underdog right now. And if you don't know already, the best thing about Underdog is the pick'em game. You can literally choose any player, or you could even pick your favorite players as well. And you just pick higher or lower on those player stats. And a lot of people don't know this, but you can win up to 20 times your money in one single night. Just pick between two to five players to build a pick'em entry. And if you get every single pick right, you're going to win some good money. So now I'm going to show you guys my picks in the NFL this Sunday. So for my first pick, I'm going to go with Matthew Stafford going lower than 271 and a half passing yards. That's my first pick. Then my second pick is going to be with David Montgomery, and I got him going higher than one and a half receptions. Let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think. Underdog is available to many states in the U.S., so make sure you guys check out this map right here to make sure that you are eligible. So make sure you guys sign up on underdogfantasy.com or via the app store using promo code COLDEMAN. Or you guys can even click the first link in the description and underdog is going to double your first deposit up to a hundred dollars so don't miss out and that's underdog fantasy promo code call the man all right so for your driving layup i decided to go with a 75 now if i could have gone with a 76 i would have so i can get that silver acrobat but i ended up going with a 75 driving layup you could go with a 74 it's literally the same exact basically the same badges but i went with a 75 because that was my last attribute that was left over okay so we're not wasting attributes I promise go with a 75 driving layup and with a 75 driving layup your close shot is going to go up to a 50 naturally so leave it at a 50 now this is where the bill gets fun with the driving dunk put that all the way up to a 94 ladies and gentlemen you are going to get insane contact dunks. I mean, look at the badges. We get gold posterizer, Hall of Fame slithery, gold precision dunker, Hall of Fame bunny. Look, we even get silver whistle, Hall of Fame spin cycle, and Hall of Fame two-step if you're into doing Euros. So we're basically going to get all the contact dunks, and that's why I went with an 85 vertical is to get the small contact dunks as well. You're going to be going absolutely insane on this build when you drive to the rim. For the standing dunk, leave that alone, and the post control, leave that alone as well. All right, so for the three-point shot go ahead and put that thing all the way up to a 92 now the reason we're going with a 92 take a look at the badges okay with a 92 three-point shot we get silver limitless range and we also get gold dead eye and we get silver agent three we get gold blinders all of these badges are very useful and i don't think you really need to go over a 92 three-point shot this year i don't think it's worth it i don't think a 99 a 96 three-point rating is worth it this year i think 92 is basically the new 99 that's what i would go with now naturally with a 92 three-point shot you're gonna get a 77 mid-range okay now on this build you can still shoot really good with a 77 mid-range but naturally what we're gonna be looking for is to shoot the three and to dunk the ball okay you can still get away with a 77 mid-range shot you're gonna go crazy 
with it. Now, I decided to put my free throw all the way up to a 72 because some of the attribute points that were left over, I just threw it on there, okay? Now, for the pass accuracy, put that all the way up to a 77. But we're going with a 77 pass accuracy rating because we get bronze needle threader. Now, that badge is really good this year. A lot of people don't know. I think if you're running the one and Pro-Am, in rec and park running the threes as a small guard i think the 77 pass accuracy rating is the lowest you need to go i would not go lower than that listen you got to dot your teammates so i think 77 pass accuracy is the best way to go now for the ball handle i put it up to a 92 you can go 95 if you want the steve francis uh, signature size up i don't think it's worth it um i think you just go with the ball I think you just go with a 92 ball handle. There's some other really good signature size ups that are still very useful. So I would rock with a 92. Now for the speed with ball, I highly recommend going with 90 and take a look at the badges that we get. I mean, we get handles for days on gold. We get killer combos on silver, speed booster gold, unpluckable gold, ankle breaker gold. We're going to be able to go crazy with this build. And the defense, you know, obviously isn't the best. This builder in 2K24 is really strict. So you got to pick your strengths and your weaknesses. And if we're playing 3v3 um, and pro-am obviously we're gonna have some lockdowns on the floor as our teammates so this is the build we're gonna be rocking with so far and for the leftover attribute we just put our interior defense up one at a 26 and overall this is the build right here ladies and gentlemen let me know what you guys think about this build down below if you make any changes let me know down below in the comments section um, and we're gonna go ahead and see what this build name is and we get the shades of Damian Lillard and De'Aaron Fox, and we have built a floor spacing slasher. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this build. On to the next one. So the second point guard build I'm going to be showing you guys is mainly for 5v5. Now, you can tweak this build for 3v3 setting if you want. Park, you know, theater, twos if you want. Um, but this is mainly like a 5v5 pro-am and rec build. So for the position, go point guard. The height goes six foot six. The weight go 192 pounds, and the wings span goes six foot eight and let's continue all right so first off we're going to start with the physicals the speed go ahead and put that all the way up to an 86 just like the six foot four build we want that gold speed booster go 86 speed now for the acceleration on this build i went with an 83 we had some leftover attributes so go with an 83 excel now for the vertical go with an 82 the reason why we're going with an 82 vert is so we can get those contact dunks you guys are going to see the driving dunk in a second now for the stamina i recommend just putting that at about like a nine 97 um you could even put it at a 99 if you want but you know i recommend going 97 all right so for the driving layup i recommend going with a 76 at a 76 driving layup you get that silver acrobat and overall you're gonna be going crazy um it's not too bad the rating isn't too bad but the main thing with this build we're gonna be shooting the three and we're gonna be dunking the ball okay and we got a little bit of a mid-range in our bag as well now putting the driving layup to a 76 is naturally going to put the close shot up to a 56 we cannot lower this rating unfortunately that's how the builder works this year now for the driving dunk we're putting that thing all the way up to a 94 driving dunk now as you guys can see just like the six foot four build i just showed you guys we're going with the 94 we get gold posterizer hall of fame slithery precision dunker on gold aerial wizard bunny on hall of fame spin cycle hall of fame two step on hall of fame you are going to be an absolute demon on this build and you're six foot six okay like the build i showed you before is six foot four able to do this but you're even taller and you're going to be able to dominate the defender every single time with the 94 driving dunk look at the badges it speaks for itself now you can leave your standing dunk at a 39 rating but i had a leftover attribute point so i just put it on 40 i believe at a 40 standing dunk you unlock one of the standing dunk packages i may be wrong let me know down below in the comment section now for the post control leave that alone now for the mid-range put that all the way up to a 77 naturally we're just going with a 77 because we're going to be putting our three-point shot all the way up to a 92 now you guys know just like i said the six foot four build okay the reason why we went 92 is to get that silver limitless and we're doing the same thing on the six foot six build and like i said on this build this is mainly a 5v5 build so you're gonna be able to have to shoot you have to shoot on this build so i think a 92 three-point shot is a necessity you have to get that silver limitless range and that gold dead eye now for the free throw i put that all the way up to a 71 like i said 
5v5 build, we need that free points badge in case we're in a clutch situation to knock down those free throws. Now for the pass accuracy, I actually put an 84 rating on this build so we can get silver needle threader. I'm telling you, man, it is worth that you throw dots to the wing, to the corner. If you're running five out, if you're running like a pick and roll, pick and pop, I'm telling you, man, the passes are way faster and with that silver needle threader, it's going to be worth it, I promise. Now for the ball handle, go ahead and put that all the way up to a 92. Like I said, you're running the one in a 5v5 setting. You need ball handle up to a 92. And for your speed with ball, I just put that all the way up to an 83. Now, the reason we're going to 83 is so we can get that gold blow by. And take a look at the badges. The playmaking badges are insane on this build. Just take a look at it, okay? We get dimer on silver, needle threader on silver, special delivery on gold. We get touch passer on silver. And look at the ball handle ones. We get... Handles for days on gold, speed booster on gold, unpluckable gold, ankle breaker gold. You get a lot of stuns with that badge as well. And we also get gold hyperdrive as well because we're going to be taking it to the rim and trying to dunk on some heads. It's worth it, okay? And I forgot to mention, with this build, you need to meter dunk with a 94 driving dunk. Use the meter dunk. I promise it's worth it. Now, the reason we're going with a 72 interior defense so we can get that silver workhorse, okay? It's 5v5 setting. You're going to want to be able to pick up the loose ball immediately. Perimeter defense, put that at a 58 so you can get that bronze off ball pest. Now, for the steal rating, we're leaving that at nothing. No steal. I know it sounds insane. We're going to have a lock on the floor, so we're going to be good. You're running the one. You're going to be in the corner on defense. You're going to be fine. I highly recommend not upgrading your still at all unless you're going to put it up to an 85 so you can get silver glove. Bronze glove is terrible in this game. Do not use it. Leave it empty right now. Now for the block, I recommend putting that up all the way to a 70. Now at a 70, as you guys can see, we get that bronze chase down artist. You're going to be in the corner on defense if you're running organized 5v5. And I mean, with the interior being up to a 72 and having a 70 block, you're going to get some chase downs for sure. You're going to be able to hold your own in the paint. Now, naturally, your defensive rebound is just going to be a 42. Um, but this is the build, man. I highly recommend making this build if you're going to be running the one in the 5v5 setting. If you want to run park, you know, you could lower the pass accuracy a little bit. Um, you could even lower, you know, the dunk if you want, put more layup, put more defense on the build. It's totally up to you. But overall, this build is really good. And let's go ahead and continue and see what the build name is. All right. And we actually get shades of Kenny Smith and Tyrese Halliburton. And the build name is a floor spacing slasher. And I'm pretty sure that was the name of the six foot four one as well. But let's move on to the third third and final build all right ladies and gentlemen for the third and final build this is probably my favorite build that i've made so far this year it's a lot of fun it's got a lot of defense and uh, if you guys don't know i mainly play 1v1 mainly that's the main mode that i play i stream it on twitch come through just type in call the man on twitch come watch all right say you came from the youtube video and whatnot but anyways uh, enough yapping. We're on to the build. All right, so for the position, go small forward. The height, go six foot seven. Weight, go 250. You're going to be a big boy, okay? Now, for the wingspan, go seven foot three. All right, so for the speed, go ahead and put that all the way up to an 80. Make sure you put it at an 80. The acceleration, put that all the way up to a 74. Now, the strength, put that all the way up to a 95. Ladies and gentlemen, 95 strength rating gets you Hall of Fame and movable enforcer. That's the whole reason why we're going with that. Yes, you're going to get some other badges as well. You get gold bulldozer, which is really good um, for bullying smaller defenders or just defenders with no strength, okay? Um, but with Hall of Fame and Movable Enforcer, you are going to get bumpy on defense. That is why I use this build in a 1v1 setting. You can lock up anybody and everybody. You can stop post scores. You can stop six foot four little guards. You can clamp them up. Okay, this build is a do it all build for the 1v1 setting. Um, by the way, if I didn't mention this, just use this build as a template. If you want to use this build on the twos, you can, or threes, or fives. Just switch up something like the pass accuracy, put more pass accuracy on the build and whatnot. Um, but yeah. Yeah. All right, enough yapping. Let me continue. Now, for the vertical, put that all the way up to a 60, okay? Leave that at a 60. And for the stamina, go ahead and max it out at a 99. Now, for the driving layup, put that all the way up to an 84. The reason why we're going with an 84 driving layup is to get that gold acrobat. Now, with this build, I like to do a lot of reverse layups. I go baseline a lot, and I like to do a lot of jelly layups. And I'm telling you, gold acrobat is worth it. You can make so many crazy layups with that badge. And you get some pretty good um, layup animations as well. You get DeMar DeRozan, um, you get James Harden. There's a lot of good layup animations. So make sure you go with an 84 driving layup. Now for the driving dunk, I went with an 80. Um, you 
have to be a starter three to get quick drops off one. Now, if you're not a starter three, I would recommend us going with a 75 driving dunk. Uh, you get some decent dunk packages and you'll be fine with that. Now for the post control, we're going to put it all the way up to an 86. With this build, you can just rock with Silver Unpluckable. I promise you'll be fine. Just keep dribbling. Don't dribble in people's faces, and you will not get plucked. Now, I could have gone with just an 85, um, but we had a leftover attribute point, so I just put it up to 86. And take a look at the badges we get. You know, I mean, we get Dream Shake on Silver. We get Drop Stepper on Gold. Now, you guys are going to see in a second, once I upgrade my mid-range, we're going to be able to upgrade our post-fade Phenom badge, which is really good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the mid-range, okay, I put that all the way up to an 88. The reason why we're going with an 88 is for a couple of reasons okay i think you have to have an 87 mid-range shot rating to get tracy mcgrady jump shot base now that's one reason why i went with such a high mid-range shot is so we can get that tracy mcgrady jump shot base now the reason we went with an 88 mid-range rating is to get that green machine on gold it is worth it you can green so many fading shots and it's super cheesy i highly recommend going with an 88 mid-range shot Call me crazy, but I left my three-point shot at a 53. Now, listen, I don't shoot threes unless I have sharp takeover. It's just the way I play in the 1v1 setting. I'm very cheesy. I like to get my dubs. And trust me, I promise you can green consistently with a 53 three ball once you have takeover. But like I said, use this build as a template. If you want to put your three ball all the way up to a 78, you can. Um, but, hey I, just, hey, I just say go with a 53, in my opinion, if you're playing 1v1 on this build. Free throw, leave that at a 63. For your pass accuracy, naturally, it's going to go up to a 50 once you upgrade the ball handle up to an 80. The reason we're going with an 80 ball handle is to get that silver handles for days. I promise you, it is worth it. You need it. Now, for the speed with ball rating, I put that all the way up to a 75 so we can get that silver hyper drive. That is really good. So make sure you guys go with a 75 speed with ball. Interior defense, put that all the way up to an 83. At an 83, you get some good badges. Um, we had some leftover attribute points, so that's why I just put it up an extra point. Now for perimeter, put that thing all the way up to a 94. As you guys can see, look at the badges we get. We get Hall of Fame Challenger. Listen, man, this build can stop bigs, it can stop post scores, and it can stop those little guards that like to left right and only shoot threes. You get Hall of Fame Challenger, you're gonna get some really good high percentage contest with this build. Now for the steal rating, put that all the way up to an 85. I'm telling you, man, I've made builds with 91 still to get the gold glove. Gold glove this year is broken, like in a bad way. It does not work. It's just a foul machine badge. That's all it is. I notice I get way more plugs with silver glove. And plus you save attribute points if you just go with an 85. Go 85 still for silver glove. It's OP. I get lots of plugs on this build. Now for the block rating, I highly recommend putting that all the way up to a 79. You get pogo stick on bronze. You get chase down artist. And with the leftover attribute points that we do have, we're going to put our defensive rebound all the way up to a 60. And we actually get box out beast on bronze and rebound chasers. So, you know, like I said, this is a 1v1 build. And when people go up with some stupid stuff, you're going to be able to get the rebound before they do. And overall, this build is an absolute beast for the ones. Like I said, use this as a template. If you want to put some pass accuracy on it for twos or threes, you can. But let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this build. And let's see what the build name is. We get shades of Jimmy Butler and Paul George. And the build name is going to be called a two-way inside the arc score. If you guys enjoyed this build video, make sure you guys leave a like for more. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.